Hey friends, welcome to another Thursday evening uh, meditation club. Uh, I guess we're calling it, that's what we used to call it, I guess uh, we're calling it contemplative, contemplative prayer sessions. So I guess we sometimes do more meditation, sometimes more, more contemplation, but um, obviously those are links. So um, thanks for coming, whether you're joining live or whether you're uh, watching the recording later. It is good to be with you. Thanks for practicing uh, with me tonight and thanks for your presence um, with, with Brian as well. Over the last few weeks, him and I are going to be um, kind of alternating. So on any given week, it might be him, might be me. We may take a few weeks off. Anyway, um, grateful, grateful that you're here. So. This week we are going to engage in the wheel of awareness, which we have we have done in the past. So some of you may be familiar with this. So the origin, I'll just speak about uh, a little bit about the origin of the wheel of awareness. So the founder, kind of the pioneer of this new emerging interdisciplinary field called interpersonal neurobiology. It's um it's a field that puts together a lot of different social and physical sciences like um psychology mathematics anthropology mental health um physics even it puts together all of these different all of these different fields and it really looks at the relationship between the mind the body and relationships so that's kind of this 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 triangle um it looks at how the mind the brain and relationships like basically influence each other. Um, and what Dan Siegel, he, he developed this, uh, well, he's the founder of the field and he developed this practice called the Wheel of Awareness. And what he says is that um, it can help us pay attention to our own mind. And not only that, um, not only can it help us learn about our mind and the functioning of our mind, but it can also help um, regulate our mind and integrate our mind and move it toward more health. Um, so that's what that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do tonight um, with the wheel of awareness. So I will ring the bell, and um, you can begin to just get settled in your chair and just come into this moment. So imagine a wheel with basically three parts in your mind's eye. It's a wheel kind of like a, a, a bicycle wheel except there's only one spoke. And in the middle, like in a real wheel, like a bicycle wheel, there's a hub. And the inner hub represents awareness, this kind of vast, spacious awareness. And the outer rim represents um, anything that can be known, anything that we can become aware of. And there are four segments on that rim, which I'll, which I'll, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guide us through. Um, and then the third part of the wheel is the spoke. And the spoke represents attention, where we're placing our attention. And so we're basically going to go around this rim, visiting each of these four sections, kind of slowly moving the spoke as we go. And so yeah, just to get, get started, and I, sh I probably should have gave that little um, explanation before ringing the bell and before inviting kind of a, a drop inward. But just, again, if you're not relaxed, just try to settle into your chair. Just trying to transition into this, this inner space. And allow your attention to focus on the breath. Just tune into your breath. And 
and sensing the breath will bring you straight into that inner hub of awareness. And just rest there for a moment, just rest in awareness. And imagine sending a spoke out from that central hub, that inner hub, to the first segment on the rim, which is the first five senses. And tune in to the sense of hearing. Allow hearing any sounds that you hear to fill awareness. And then imagine moving that spoke over just a little bit to the sense of sight and allow sight to fill awareness. If your eyes are closed, you can probably notice the light coming through the back of your eyelids. If you want to open your eyes for a moment, that's also perfectly fine. So allow sight to fill awareness. and then move the spoke over again to the sense of taste and allow any tastes to fill your awareness. And then move that spoke over just a little bit more and allow any smells, any odors to fill your awareness. And moving it over one more time to the sense of touch. Perhaps your you know, arm is touching your chair you're sitting in, your feet on the ground, anywhere your body is making contact with something. So allow that to fill awareness. Now I'll invite you to take a bit of a deeper breath and imagine that spoke moving over to the second segment on the rim, which is bodily sensations. Starting with the face, allow the sensations of the muscles, in the bones of the face to fill awareness. Then move up to the scalp, allowing any sensations in the head and the scalp to fill your awareness. And then to your neck and your throat area. down to your shoulders, to your neck, I guess we already got the neck, sorry about that, I'm headed up again, we're supposed to keep going down, so I meant to say from the shoulders to the upper arms. down toward the elbows, your forearms, out to your hands, all the way to the tips of your fingers. And then to your upper back, your upper back and chest area, allow that to fill awareness. We'll move down to the lower back and the abdomen. And a bit lower, down to the area around your hips. And 
and then to your thighs, down to your knees, lower legs, ankles, your feet, and out to the tips of your toes. And then to the pelvic area, allowing any sensations in the pelvic area to fill your awareness. And then we'll, we'll move our attention inside to the torso and the gut, the intestines. And then move upward to the interior of the lungs. Then to the center of the chest, just to the left, to your heart. Allowing your, the area around your heart to fill awareness. And then allow your attention to move to your whole body. Any sensations in the exterior or the, or the interior of your body. Allowing that to fill your awareness. I'll invite you to take again a longer, deeper, fuller breath. And imagine that spoke moving over to the third segment of the rim, which is mental activities. So this could include thought, feelings, emotions, images, desires, beliefs, memories, anything of that nature. And we're gonna do this segment of the rim in, in two, two steps. So first, just invite any mental activities you have, invite them, invite them in and just become aware of them without resistance. And become aware of what it feels like to be aware of these mental activities. Not resisting them again, just inviting them to be. Noticing it from the inner hub of awareness. Now we'll pause and shift to the second part of this segment of the rim. This time I'll invite you to notice how a mental activity arrives in your awareness. How does it come in? Does it come in fast? Does it come in slow? Does it feel like it erupts into your consciousness? Does it emerge? <clears throat> Is it constant? Is it fleeting? And then notice how it leaves your awareness. Does something replace it? Are there any gaps between mental activities? Any pauses? Just tune in and kind of study these mental activities from this inner hub of awareness. And again, I'll invite you to take a slightly deeper breath and we'll move the spoke over one last time to the final segment of the rim, which is interconnection. Interconnection is basically our relatedness to things that are beyond us. So other people, 
the natural world, the planet itself, anything, anything outside of ourselves. And so in doing this, the hope is to sense a bit of connection to that which is, which is outside of us. So beginning with your loved ones, your family, just allow yourself to be aware of your connection with them. Now open that sense of connection up a bit more to include your friends and your coworkers, your colleagues, your neighbors. And then expand that out a bit further to include everybody who lives in your neighborhood. And again, the sense of connection to people who live in your city or your town. And in your state. And moving it out to everyone who lives in your country. And then widening the sense of connection to everyone who shares our planet everyone on earth. And beyond that, beyond just people to all living beings on earth. And I'll invite you as you sense this this wide circle of connection to send out thoughts or wishes of care, thoughts or wishes of concern and love to all living beings. And then see if you're able to send those same well wishes, those same thoughts and wishes for kindness and compassion. See if you can send that to yourself, to your own inner world, to your own inner being. Knowing that you too are a part of this, a part of this vast, this vast circle of life. That you're not a part from it, but you are a part of it. And then taking one final deeper breath, I'll invite you to do one last thing before we close the Wheel of Awareness exercise. So imagine this time sending that spoke out from the inner hub, but rather than going to a segment of the rim, imagine that spoke curving in on itself. So going out and curving back in and coming back to the hub. and be there in that hub, this hub of awareness, and now your attention, rather than being on something else, your attention is on awareness itself, and see if you can just get the sense of what it's like to be aware of awareness itself. And just notice what that's like for the next minute or so.
Now I'll just invite you to find your breath and as you're ready you can slowly open your eyes and come back into the room. And I'll ring the bell one more time as a, as a symbol of, of our ending this evening and allow the, allow the sound of the bell to, to kind of percolate um, in and may it may it remind you of your of your connection to yourself remind you of this ability to enter this inner hub this this inner hub of pure spacious awareness well thanks again friends for coming it's always a joy to practice with you. Sorry, the light wasn't wasn't great. It's more kind of backlit up here, but uh, I hope hope that wasn't too distracting. Anyway, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care. Peace.